What's going on guys? Today is Sunday, September 29th. I uh, just got done eating breakfast right there at Bob Evans. It is 11 a.m. I just got my first request. It's an Uber Eats order. It's a pizza shop uh, two miles down the road. So we're gonna get that one and let's see what happens today. So I was on the way to pick that Uber Eats order and I got an order for five guys which is right across the street. The pickup is going towards the pizza place and I have a feeling that pizza order is going to take a while so let's pick up this order, um, drop it off and let's go pick up that pizza order. So this should work out pretty good. I picked up that uh, Grubhub order from five guys is $8.42. The drop off is like really close to the pizza place. But it said the pickup for this order was until 11.35 and I got the order, it's 11.20. So I'm gonna go pick up the pizza, drop this order off, then drop off the pizza order. So multiple apps, but you gotta know how to do it. Okay, that was a nightmare. When I left Five Guys, I forgot to mark that I had arrived there and got the order. I got the order and I left. So when I got to the customer's place, they weren't answering the door and I could not mark that I arrived. So I had to get in touch with support and they said I had to wait five minutes for it to clear up, blah, blah, blah. I, I was probably there like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, so I'm in my car trying to mark a ride. It still wouldn't let me. The customer finally came out, so they got their food. Eventually it finally cleared off. Now I'm on my way to drop off this Uber Eats order. I, I should have been there by now. But you know what, these things happen. Uh, you can't let them get to you, so I'm gonna drop this order off. All right, I got that Uber Eats order dropped off. It was $6.79. I'm wondering if I'm gonna get a tip. I, <laughs> this sounds horrible, but by the name, I figured I'm probably not going to. Now, I'm gonna say things aren't racist if they are backed with facts. I did a, a little test a while back ago on do black people tip and I'm gonna post a link to it right up there. So feel free to check that out. I mean, numbers are numbers, it's what they are. So, all right, let's keep going. I gotta head back towards where all the restaurants are. I'm a little bit away from things now. And yeah. All right, it's about noon. I'm at, I believe $14, uh, 10 miles in my car. It's a slow, slow day. I'm hoping maybe at around one when the football game starts, maybe the orders will pick up. But if not, I'm just sitting here relaxing. I'm in front of the mall waiting for the next order. So I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes. Finally got another request. It's a Uber Eats order, Dave's Cosmic Subs. It's a mile down the road, so let's go get this one. All right, we got that order picked up. It's 1.7 down the road. Let's keep rolling. All right, I'm dropping this order off. I'm at the medical center. So hopefully there's somebody right at the front because they didn't give me a drop off it said drop off at door while I'm doing this I finally got a decent order a $10 order for city barbecue so I'm gonna drop this one off and then go pick up that order that was a short drop off I mean it's only four dollars and 26 cents hopefully I'll get a tip all right now to pick up the order at city barbecue it's a couple of miles down the road all right got this order picked up the drop off is at an apartment complex called timber top everyone in Akron hates this place it is the hardest place to find the address but let's go drop it off. Right, we got that order dropped off. I uh, got another order to pick up. You can see it's like a 17 minute drive. That's a bit of a haul, but it's a $15.45 order. I'm listening to the Browns game. Let's go pick up this order and keep on going. Gotta drop this order off. You see it's another 17 minute order. That is the thing about weekends. During the weekdays, all my drop offs are right in the little business area. Uh, weekends are all over the place. So I'm putting a lot of miles on a day. So you just, you know, got to make it what it is. All right, I just got an order for Moe's, which is close to where I live. I'm glad I got this. It's an $18 order. Um, it's about a 15 minute drive. So hopefully they'll have the order ready, ready, because Moe's has been slow. But I'm glad I got this order. It, it makes me feel not so bad having to eat these miles because I'm going back to where I want to be. So, all right, I got this order picked up, $18 order. Got a 11 mile drive, let's get this dropped off. I'm listening to the Browns game, it's a good day. Okay, I just dropped that $18 order off. 
and I'm just gonna start heading towards home if I get something along the way great if not I'm gonna go watch some football okay so it is currently 2 45 decided to call it a day maybe I'll go back out for the dinner rush uh, but right now I'm at home I'm watching some football so I made 52 20 on Grubhub and 13 on Uber Eats so that comes out to well, I thought I had my calculator Give me one second that comes out to $65 uh, we worked three hours 45 minutes so if we take 65 divide that by 3.75 uh, $17.33 an hour that that's okay that's not too bad and if we take Let's clear that, 65, I don't wanna do that Uber right now. Divide that by 60.8 miles, a dollar and seven cents a mile. That's not the greatest per mile average, but Sundays, your mileage is probably gonna be longer because you're not delivering to the businesses, you're delivering to home addresses. Sorry guys, maybe I'll go back out later, but if not, so we made a dollar seven a mile and what did I say? 65 divided by 3.75, $17.33 an hour. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.